Today we got some Battlefield and there's a new game mode called Shutdown where specialists feel like they actually serve a purpose other than just making you feel good about yourself. It's competitive Battlefield and even though Shutdown isn't here to stay for very long, can we expect more of this? I'm your older than average gamer. Hey you guys, thanks for stopping back to the channel. Do appreciate you coming in. Today, like I said, we've got some Battlefield content and it's more specifically we're talking about the new game mode Shutdown. It's future in the series, which is not gonna be very long, we know that, but more importantly, the kind of gameplay it's providing. Is this something that we're gonna get more of? Is this something that we want more of? Keep in mind that today, if you enjoy this video, please drop a like, maybe subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I appreciate the hell out of it, and it helps me a ton. Okay, so what is Shutdown? So, two teams are pitted against each other in 8 vs 8 combat, one team being tasked with defending a set of three objectives while the other has to attack. The attacking team is given a device called a lance, actually two at a time are allowed on the battlefield. These devices are planted at the objective sites and create an EMP that fries data drives. Now, each objective can be whittled down in sections and does not have to be completely destroyed uh, for you to score points. Uh, the more that you whittle a objective site down, the more points you get. This is a two round game mode and essentially the first team to attack is setting at the pace of play because their score will determine what team two has to do and that might seem obvious, but here's the catch. If team one scores, let's say 36 points over the course of an entire seven minute round, team two only has to match that score and go one point over uh, to take the win. So each round does not necessarily have to take seven minutes and conversely, if team one takes all the objectives completely in less than seven minutes, then team two will have to match that score in that time. Now for fans of game modes like Rush, uh, particularly Rush, uh, or even Tactical Conquest, which was Battlefield 2042's previous small tactical based CQC game mode, which essentially was just domination. For fans of those kinds of modes, uh, more team based, small, uh, this definitely scratches a good itch. There's no doubt about that. I think most importantly though, what this mode is doing is actually utilizing specialists and making them, for the most part, feel like they actually have some sort of purpose um, within the battlefield that really has a noticeable, palpable effect, not only for you, but for your teammates. Now there are, of course, a specialist or two here and there that aren't going to feel as useful. Somebody like Rao, whose main objective and special speciality is to hack enemy vehicles well there are no vehicles here obviously so you take the good with the bad here mostly though this does a really good job of actually bringing to life one of the core functions of this game that admittedly most people didn't really want anyways of course with any higher skill team oriented game mode there is always the possibility that you're going to be playing with people you don't know that also don't have any idea what they're doing or any desire to really play the mode the way it's intended to be played and that can be frustrating but this is no different than any other game or any other game mode like this uh, depend regardless of what you're playing so i think the the thing to take away here is if you're going to play this and you want to really enjoy it even if you're not playing with a group of people you know, look at what your other teammates are running and try to complement them with another specialist that might serve your team better. And yes, admittedly, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm looking at your team right now and you're all running Assault, uh, except for one guy running Medic. Uh, yeah, this was the first game I played, so I was still kind of getting the ropes, learning the ropes a bit here. Um, in the previous uh, gameplay clips I was showing you, though, I had switched over to Paik using the wall hacks, um, essentially. Um, obviously, Falk is going to always be a useful tool here. And even from the Assault standpoint, if you're using McKay, let's say, like I was here, that still can be very, very useful, especially if you're going to be running lances around because you've got a way to traverse uh, the map quicker than uh, other players do. I guess the point here simply is use the specialist as intended for the best effect. Now, unfortunately for maybe some of us, uh, this game mode is definitely going to be only limited time um, but I guess the real question here is if this does well and it goes over well within the community which so far it seems like it is uh, could we expect something to take its place uh, down the road as a more stable 
consistent game mode providing this kind of gameplay or is this more of a placeholder for something that may be coming in the future for the next battlefield title why don't you guys leave me some comments in the section below. Let me know what you think about Shutdown, about the future of more tactical team-based gameplay within Battlefield. Do we like it? Do we not care? What do you think? I appreciate your feedback. Thank you for stopping by today. We'll see you on the next one.